good into your strike back again. Today we'll be talking about toady fishing and how to toady fish. For the hooks, you're going to need a number 8 shank hook, and for weights, you're going to need a snap weight. And I prefer to use light pound test, which you kind of have to use light pound test for toady fishing. And this is kind of what the pole setup looks like. You got your snap weight right here, and you're going to you got your shank hook right here. And Tony's favorite, 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 favorite bait is that dead shrimp. They just love dead shrimp. I don't know why, but that's just their favorite. Having shrimp cocktails. How, how, how do you find a great fishing spot? Well, you can ask the locals around your neighborhood, or you can ask your mom, dad, or friends. And the place I'm going to be fishing at is at Jupiter, Florida. I found this spot by going to a beach with my puppies and they love swimming there. So I went across the mangroves and I just saw a whole bunch of toadies the whole way. I thought maybe next time I should bring a fishing pole and I should make a video about toady fishing. Well here I am making a video about toady fishing. And always make sure you check your regulations and rules. I'm the Green Ninja and I'll strike back again. Inspectors don't come for more inspectors on Jabriel. Men like Jas pour avler men in on a hotel. Tombe palé anglais, vire playboy Chanel. Yo pa respecte Israel. Jas pour an pa respecte Jas pour an. the fishing spot for today. Woohoo! Nice size keeper. Let's go take let's go take him and get his hook off. Hey guys, Green Ninja here. Here's the catch of the day. Ten toadies. We're now tuned back in. We're going to start filleting and cooking. Hey guys, here's us filleting our toadies. So what you kind of want to do is go for a notch. And mine was right here on this toady. You kind of want to hurt slicing but hold the living daylights out of it. 
and you want to kind of feel for there's a big bone you gotta feel for it until it pops and you break it. Keep on placing. You want to take it from here. Grab, take your running water over here. And grab the meat. Wash it off. Grab it. Grab the head. And just keep pulling on it until you get it out. Like so. Like that, and take your toady, put it in a bag or somewhere where you can throw it away. Then you kind of want to take all these little pieces right here and pull them off. Make your toady clean. Wash them all up. And the reason why you keep the tail in here is because they call chickens in the sea. And the reason why they call them chickens in the sea is because you eat them like a drumstick. And then just clean them off. So. And you can have a bowl or anything. You put them in. You put them in there. I'll tune back in for when I'm cooking them. Hey guys, let's get cooking. We got our blackened toadies right over here. And we got our... Our seasoned flour toadies right over here. And we got our oily pans, nice and hot. So we're going to take our blackened guys. We're just going to pick them up by the tail and gently lay them in. Don't throw them down because they'll splatter. You don't want to get your splat splatter your hand. Lay this guy on in. Get those guys cooking. These are just going to cook a little faster because this side is still has a different heat from and you can lay this guy in. Nice. Lay this guy in. And since these are small, I'm just laying them, laying more in. Hey guys, I'm just gonna go wash my hands real quick. Okay, I'm back. Back in action. Yeah. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at these guys over here. These are big guys, so they're hard to pick up. These look good, so we're just gonna flip them all over. Yeah, make sure you don't splatter yourself. Oil. A little feisty one. Okay, let those cook. Let's check on these guys. That, that could use a few more minutes. One more minute on that guy. This guy's ready to turn. Please knock on these. We use a few more minutes on that side. That one too. Okay, these guys are ready to flip. Try to keep the meat in your pan. Okay, let's check these guys. Okay. Uh, good? Good. Try to get that tail cooked a little more. There we go. Put these guys all ready to go to flip. That side. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but that's the mini green inch in the background. Well, not, I guess it's not that many, it's a great thing. We call them the second green ninja. Okay, these guys look like they're done. Just about. See if I can grab one here. <laughs> okay, next, just chuck over them. This guy looks done. 
put them on your finished plate. So you can use three plates, dip it, it doesn't matter. I, I prefer using three plates because one for a different seasoning, each one for a different seasoning. So, grab this guy. Make sure all that oil's off. Bring them on over. Giant tails. Right? <laughs> Okay, this guy's definitely done. Nice little one. Nice little chump, jump stick. Okay, one more minute on that side. One more minute on this side. And guys, make sure you always turn this stove off and move your pan over. Okay, you got your nice toady over here. Grab them on out. Put them on the plate. Grab this guy out. Put them on the plate. Hey guys! I'm done with the finishing product of toady fishing. Start to finish. Yum. I'd like to thank you guys for all the people that watched my video start to finish. I'm the Green Ninja, and I'll catch you later. Yummy, yummy.